you will learn how to add mixed numbers. Let's have the first example on addition of mixed numbers. This time, we're going to add 4 and 1 fourths plus 5 and 2 fourths. Let's have the first solution. So, in this solution, we are going to separate the whole numbers from its fraction. So, we will have 4 and, uh, four and 1 fourths will be 4 plus 1 fourth. Okay? While for 5 and 2 fourths, we'll have 5 plus 2 fourths. Alright, so I hope you can follow. So, uh, this time we're going to combine the whole numbers, meaning to say we're going to group 4 and 5. So, we'll have 4 and 5, and then we're going to group also the fractions, 1 fourth and 2 fourths. Alright, so what have you noticed with these fractions? Alright, we have the same denominator, and so these are similar fractions. And since they are similar fractions, then we can proceed to addition. And we simply have to add the numerator, and then we copy the denominator. Alright? So, 4 plus 5, that will give us 9, plus, okay, we will add 1 and 2. So, 1 plus 2 over 4. And 1 plus 2 will give us 3. So, we'll have 9 plus 3 over 4. Alright? But we can rewrite this one as, we can rewrite this. 9 plus 3 fourths as 9 plus 3 fourths. Alright? Now, let's have another solution. This will be our second solution. Okay? So, let's have 4 and 1 fourth plus 5 and 2 fourths. This time, we're going to rewrite these fractions into an improper fractions. So, how do we do that? Alright? So, we simply have to multiply 4 times 4. Okay? That will be 16 plus 1 in the numerator. And that will give us 17. Alright, again, we multiply 4 times 4. That is 16 plus 1 in the numerator. That will give you 17. Alright, so we have 17 over 4. Alright, what about for this one? So we will have 5 times 4. That will give us 20 plus 2 in the numerator. That will give us 22 over 4. So we have plus 22 over 4. Alright? But then again, what have you noticed with this one? We have the same denominator and so these are examples of similar fractions. Alright? So we can proceed to addition of these two fractions. We simply have to add 17 and 22 and then we copy the denominator which is 4. So 17 plus 22 that will give us 39 over 4. Alright, so I hope you can follow. But take note, this one, 39 over 4, is not in simplest form yet. So we have to rewrite this into its simplest form. So how do we do that? Uh, if we divide 39 by uh, 4, how many 4s do we have in 69? Alright, so obviously, how many 4s do we have in 69? Obviously, there is... Uh, 9, okay? So, 9 times 4 is 36, alright? And if we subtract 39 by 36, that will give us, what's the answer? That will give us 3, alright? So, this will be our numerator, this will be our quotient, and this will be our divisor, alright? Meaning, if you're going to rewrite 39 over 4, that will give us 9 and 3 over 4. 9 as the quotient, 3 as the remainder, and 4 as the divisor. So that's how you rewrite improper fractions into a mixed number. Okay? So we have the same answer with that in the first solution that we have just a while ago. Let's have another example on addition of mixed numbers. This time we're going to add 3 and 1 half plus 6 and 1 third. Alright, let's have the first solution. So, in this solution, we're going to group again, uh, or rather, we are going to rewrite these fractions, okay? Uh, if we're going to rewrite 3 and 1 half, that will give us 3 plus 1 half, alright? For 6 and 1 third, we will have 6 plus 1 third, alright? This time, we're going to group the whole numbers. So, we have 3 plus 6, okay? 
and then we will have also one half plus one third. All right. What have you noticed with these two fractions, one half and one third? Okay, they are the similar fractions because they don't have the same denominator. All right. And so the rule of thumb is that we are going to look for the least common denominator. Okay, and there are several ways how to find the least common denominator of the similar fractions. Uh, if you've watched my, preview, my videos previously, I have uh, a tutorial there on how to find the least common denominator or the least common multiple of the given fractions. Okay, but in here we're going to apply the shortcut that I have also demonstrated in my uh, previous video on addition of fractions. Okay, and to recall, how do we do that? We simply have to multiply 2 and 3, that will give us 6, alright? And then we multiply 3 and 1, cross multiply, and then we also multiply 2 and 1 here, okay? So 3 times 1 is 3, and 2 times 1 is 2, okay? But 2 times 3 is 6, okay? So if we're going to add 3 plus 6, that will give us 9, and then... The result of this one will be 2 times 3 is 6, and then 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, alright? And so if we're going to add 3 and 2, that will give us 5. So we will have 9 plus 5 over 6. But we can rewrite this as 9 and 5 over 6, alright? So I hope you can follow. Now, let's have another solution, okay? So... This time, we're going to rewrite these fractions, or mixed numbers rather, into an improper fraction. So how do we do that? Okay, so let's change the color of our pen. We, ha we simply have to multiply 3 and 2. 3 times 2, that will give you 6, plus 1 in the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So you have 7 over 2. What about for uh, 6 and 1 third? Okay, to simplify 6 in one third, you multiply 6 times 3, that will give you 18, plus 1 in the numerator. So 18 plus 1, that will give you 19. Okay, and so we have 19 over 3. Okay, so again, what have you noticed with this one? What can you say about these two fractions? Okay, they are again the similar fractions, and so we need to find the least common denominator. But let's apply the shortcut that I have uh, demonstrated again in my previous video on addition of, of uh, fractions. How do we do that? We multiply the denominator, 2 times 3, that will give you 6, okay? And then you multiply 7 and 3, that will give you 21, this one, okay? And if you're going to uh, multiply... Uh, 2 and 19, that will give you 38. So this is it. Okay? 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 19 is 38. Okay? And 2 times 3 is 6. Okay? And so if we're going to add 21 and 38, that will give you 59 over 6. Okay? But this one is not in its simplest form, so we need to rewrite this. So how do we rewrite this? So we have... How many 6 do we have in 59? Okay, so let's, let's have that. 59 divided by uh, 6. Okay, so how many 6 do we have in 59? And above there is, there is 9, or there are 9 6 in 59. Okay, and 9 times 6 is 54. So we have 54. Okay, and... 50, 59 minus 54, that will give us the answer of 5. And that will be our remainder. Okay? So, this is the quotient, this is the numerator, and this will be our denominator. And so, if we're going to rewrite 59 over 6, that will give us 9 and 5 over 6. Okay? This is the remainder. We have the remainder here, and this is the divisor, and this is our quotient. And what have we noticed? Let's compare that to the first solution that we have. We arrive to the same answer. Let's have another example on addition of mixed numbers. This time, we're going to add 3 and 1 half plus 6 and 1 thirds. 
Okay, let's have the first solution. So again, in this solution, we're going to group the whole numbers and then we're going to group the fractions. So we will have 6 plus 3 plus 1 half plus 1 third. All right. So what can you say about these two fractions? These two fractions, what can you say? Okay, if you notice, these are dissimilar fractions because they have different uh, denominator. And so we have to rewrite this into a similar fractions so that we can add them. All right. So to do that, we add 6 plus 3, that will give us 9. So how do we rewrite this into similar fractions? Of course, we need to look for the least common denominator. But you can also apply the shortcut that I have shown in my previous video. And how do you do that? You simply have to multiply the denominator 2 times 3, that will give you 6. Okay? And then 3 times... Okay, let's change the color. So you have 3 times 1, okay, that will give you 3. And then 2 times 1, that will give you 1. Uh, that will give you 2, rather. Alright? So, 3 plus 2, that will give you 5. So, that will give us now 9 plus 5 over 6. But of course, you can rewrite this as 9 and 5 over 6. Alright? Now, let's have another solution. So, again, in this uh, solution, we're going to rewrite this mixed numbers into an improper fraction so how do we do that so we have 2 times 3 that will give you 6 right 2 times 3 that will give you 6 plus 1 that will give you 7 all right so the answer is 7 over 2 what about for this one so 6 times 3 that will give you 18 plus 1 that will give you 19 so we have 19 over 3. Now, what have you observed with this one? With these uh, fractions, rather. So, again, they are dissimilar fractions. And so, we have to rewrite this into uh, similar fractions so that we can add the numerator. But we can also apply, again, the shortcut that I have uh, demonstrated in my previous video. And that is to simply multiply the denominator. So, 2 times 3, that will give you 6. And then, uh, you cross multiply 7 and 3. So, 7 times 3, that will give you 21. And you may also uh, cross multiply uh, this one. 2 times 9, that will give you 38. Alright? So, we have the answer. So, 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 19 is 38. And then, you simplify. 21 plus 38, that will give you 59, alright? But then again, this one is not in uh, simplest form. So we have to uh, rewrite it. So how do we rewrite that? So we have, uh, how many 6 do we have in 59? Alright, so 59, we divide it by 6, alright? So, how many 6 do we have in 59? And obviously, uh, there are 9 6 in 59. So, we have 9 here. And 9 times 6 is 54. Alright? And so, 54 minus, uh, 59 minus 54, that will give you 5. Alright? That will give you 5. So, we'll write 5 here. Okay, so this is our numerator, this is our quotient, and this is our divisor. And so if we're going to rewrite this again into simplest form, so we have 9 and 5 over 6. And we have the same answer again with that in the first solution. Alright. Let's have the last example on addition of mixed numbers. This time, let's add 8 and 3 over 10 plus 1 and 5 over 6. Okay, let's have the first solution. Okay, so in this solution, I'll be showing you another way of adding mixed numbers. So, let's do that. So, we will have to separate again the whole numbers, 8 plus 1, okay? And then we're going to separate also the fractions 3 uh, over 10 and 5 over 6, okay? 
And so, uh, the rule of thumb again, since these fractions are dissimilar fractions, we need to look for the least common denominator. And what do you think is the least common denominator of 10 and 6? Okay, and then obviously it's 60. 60 divided by 10 is 6, and 60 divided by 6, that will give you 10. Okay, so we will have uh, A plus 1 is 9, plus, okay, we need to rewrite these two fractions into a similar fraction using the least common denominator that we have identified. So we will have 3 over 10 and 5 over 6. Okay. So for this fraction, we need to multiply this one uh, by 6. So we will have 60 So times 6. And since we multiplied 6 here in the denominator, we need to multiply 6 in the numerator. For 5 over 6, we need to multiply 6 by 10, and so we need to multiply also 5 by 10, okay? So 3 times 6, that will give you 18, okay? And 5 times 10, that will give you 50 over 60. And if you have observed now, we now have similar fractions. And so we can add the numerator, and then we copy the denominator. So 18 plus 50, that will give you... 68. 9 plus 68 over 60. Alright? But we need to, uh, we can simplify further 68 over 60. How many 60s do we have in 68? Obviously, there is just 1. So we'll have 9 plus 1 and 8 over 60. Okay? But we can rewrite 1 plus 8 over 60 as 1 plus 8 over 60. So we will have 9 plus 1 plus 8 over 60. Okay, this one. Okay, so 1 plus 8 over 60. Okay, and so we can now add 9 and 1. So that will give us 10 plus 8 over 60. Okay, but we can, but before we proceed to the final answer, we can uh, simplify 8 over 60 because there is a common factor between 8 and 60. And what is that? What is that common factor? Okay, it's... Okay, if you're going to remove 4, uh, I mean, if you're going to take out 4 in 8, so what will be left is 2. If we're going to take out 4 in 60, what is left is 15. Okay, and so to uh, have the final answer, then we will have 10 and 2 over 5. Okay, 10 and 2 over 15 rather. So the final answer is 10 and 2 over 15. All right, so uh, that's our first solution, okay? Let's have our second solution, okay? So this time, we are going to rewrite these uh, mixed numbers into an improper fraction. So how do we do that? So we multiply 8 and 10, that will give you 80, plus 3 in the numerator, that will give you 83, okay? So 83 over 10 plus 6 times 1, that will give you 6 plus 5 that will give you 11 so 11 over 6 but then again we have the similar fractions and so we need to look for the least common denominator but like that we can also apply the shortcut that i have demonstrated in my previous videos okay so how do we do that you multiply 10 and 6 so that will give you 60 and then if you're going to multiply 83 and 6, that will give you 498. This one is the product. And if we're going to multiply 10 and 11, that will give you 110. Okay, 110. So, this is the product. Okay, if we're going to add 498 and 110, okay, so we will have 608 over 60. Alright? But this one is an improper fraction, so we need to rewrite this into its simplest form. How many 60s do we have in 608? Okay, obviously there is, or there are 10 60s in 608. Because 10 times 60 is 600 plus 8, so that will give us 608. Alright, but we can simplify 8 over 60 further, okay, because there's a common uh, factor, which is 4. If we take out 4 and 8, that will be uh, what will be left is 2 if we take out 4 and 60 what will be left is uh, 15 all right and so we have 10 and 2 over 15 okay 
So we have 2 here and we have uh, 15 after taking out 4 in 8 and 60. So 10 and 2 over 15. <music>